This is Alex Lemon with TheBoxingVoice.com. I'm here with top ranked Danny El Chapelin Valdivia. How you doing, champ? Doing good, man. Doing good. Good, good. About to start uh, training. Get ready. Yes, sir. So uh, I hear that uh, you've been sparring with the likes of Canelo and and uh, Jason Quigley. Yeah, man. We've been in there with top prospects, top fighters. Um, we're always looking to spar the best because we know that's what takes us to the next level. Excellent. And for those that don't know, you are 14 and 0, 10 KOs. You're the NABF Junior Super Walterweight Champion of the World. Yes, What's sir. next for you? What's next for me is uh, we got August 4th. We're fighting at Chelsea Park in Fresno, and uh, that should be a big fight. I'm hoping for you know, bigger opponents, bigger names, because uh, we're definitely ready for it. Definitely, August 4th, Chelsea Park. That's a uh, Fresno Grizzly Stadium. It holds 15,000. Yes, 15,000, so it's going to be a pretty much sold out arena. I know it's going to be a stacked arena, so we're excited for that. Right, and uh, you did fight at St. Mark's Center when that, that had 13,700 in attendance when you uh, got a victory over... Uh... Aaron Garcia. Yes. That, that was huge, man. It was plenty, a lot of people. Um, it was a great event. We um, we had a great fight, and I, 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 was, uh, I was excited to be able to showcase my talent for a lot of people. Cool, cool. So you're still fighting at 154. How, how long do you plan to stay at 154? Man, I would like to get a title at 154. And, uh, I would like to stay here as long as my body allows me to. Um, I would definitely like to uh, be a champion in different organizations at 154. But um, when, the, when the body tells me I need to move up, I'll definitely take my, take my way up. But uh, I think I definitely have room to grow 54, 60, 68, 75. But I think um, 54 for, for a long time. Right, right. Because there's some names at 160. Yeah, they're different. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of names at 160. There's, there's definitely names at 54 that I have to fight. And to unify myself and be a champion in that weight class, there's Charlo Brothers, there's, there's, a, there's definitely a fighter that are champion and I gotta, gotta take out first before I can move up, you know? You'd be interested in fighting the, one of the Charlo Brothers, the, the 154? Oh, definitely, man. That's a fight that uh, I love to fight, man. So I know that, I know that as I keep moving up my ring, the, the fight the organization will, will push for it, and I'll, I'll fight some of the Charlo Brothers. Right now I'm ranked 53 in the world, and um, I know I'm about two or three more fights, uh, I should be up in the Right, and with you sparring elite fighters in the game like Canelo Alvarez and Jason Quigley, I mean it's definitely produced showing results with your uh, first round knockout that you just had. Yeah, nobody thought we would go the first round KO, man. Everybody thought we would go eight rounds. Um, getting out with Douglas Tate, the number one guy from Brazil, was huge for us, you know. So we were excited, and it definitely helped us out. And Top Ring gave us a, a different look, so I know that. That's the kind of thing that I need to bring to my next fight is keep bringing knockouts because that's what people love. Right. What are your thoughts about that? That uh, everybody thought that this was going to be a tough fight for you since the guy was 16-1, and one, but yet you dispatched him in the first round with a, an electric knockout. Yeah, man. My, my coach said, he goes, you know what? Let's go in there, man. First round, two, first two rounds, get him out, go home. You know, go enjoy the night. So that's something I installed in my, in my head. Hey, get the job done, get out of there. And we, we definitely did that. And that was, uh, I, I felt good to definitely prove a lot of people wrong. And um, keep doing that every fight because every fight is going to be a different challenge. Some of those you say something, so that's going to motivate me to be able to prove my wrong. You know? uh, can we talk about a little bit about you going to New York? You seen the Triple G and Jacobs fight, right? Yeah, I was there for both fights. Uh, Michael Collins fight, the book of you, Michael Collins, where um, also McGregor was there with him. So I was backstage with them, hanging out. Uh, we did the walk in with them, and um, that was a great fight. Michael Collins, you know, his first pro debut, won the United States. Um, I think it was um, a lot of pressure from me, a lot of people there, uh, so it was definitely a, a stacked night of fights. And then the next night I went to watch Triple G against Jacobs, and I told my uh, trainers and some of my people that I would go on decision because Jacobs is a tough man and he's definitely very conditioned, he has great uh, speed work, so he definitely gave him a, uh, a tough time, you know, but um, it was a great night, man, to be there at the, at the uh, Madison Square Garden to one day say, hey, I'm going to fight you one day. That was motivation for me. Exactly. One day you will headline over there yeah. in Madison Square Garden or the Barclays. So uh, who'd you have winning on that fight? Did you have Jacobs winning? I had Jacobs winning personally. Uh, I, I still think Jacobs, since he's a champion, um, Triple G, so I think he, he still won because of the knockout, knockdown. And um, it was a close fight, but I mean, he, I mean, like you said, he could have won either way, you know, but just because it's a, he's a champion, you have to definitely take him out and definitely beat him with a, by, a, by a very wide margin. When you're the champion, you really got to... You know, 
it's hard for you to get it beat easily. So it's definitely up to you. You're fighting against the judges as well. Right, right. And who do you have winning this weekend? With well, the got, Travis Canelo. Ooh, I mean, I, it's getting interesting, man. But uh, I still have Canelo kind of, kind of pulling it out with the decision. Maybe a couple knockdowns. But um, it's going to be tough for him. Because, I mean, Travis is going to come in real heavy. I'm probably going to come in. Oh, yeah, he's going to come in real heavy. Real, he's going to hydrate real, real. He's going to hydrate real heavy. So real heavy. heavy. Yeah, that's going to give him an advantage. Big, big advantage. advantage. Yeah, big advantage. So good for juice.